how does power affect ICT for these systems? The answer must start with an understanding of power, which I here define as control over resources, over institutions, over knowledge systems, plus position within structure relations. We can then use this definition to understand the politics of ICT for D, for example, identifying those who are likely to benefit more from ICT for D and those who are likely to benefit less. The model of power and ICT for D would divide groups and benefits in terms of resources. So those who have access to data and skills, knowledge and technology, money, contact networks will benefit more from ICT for D systems than those who do not. In terms of institutions, for example, those who are in formal positions of authority within local institutions will benefit more from ICT for D systems than those who are not. In terms of structure relations, for example, those who employ others in ICT for D initiatives will benefit more than those who are themselves employed. And in terms of knowledge systems, those who determine the discourse and meaning of ICT for D will benefit more than those who do not. Then this model also adds a foundational division based on motivation, arguing that those who are motivated to use an ICT for D application will benefit more than those who are not. All right, if we put all this together, what are the implications for ICT for D? Well, a central question will be whether the design of our ICT for D projects is just having an incremental impact on system resources and practices, or whether it's having a more transformational impact on wider institutions and structural relations and knowledge systems. Because only if the ICT for D project has a transformational impact will it alter the underlying distributions of power that ultimately determine the outcome not just of ICT for D, but of development more broadly. If it's not transformational of these wider components of power, then there's a serious potential for reinforcement, meaning that the rich, the powerful will make more and better use of digital technology, and that technology will make them richer and more powerful, exacerbating rather than reducing inequality. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ICT for D textbook. And thank you for watching.